I'm Lee Labrada, IFBB Pro Bodybuilding Hall of Famer and founder of Labrada Nutrition. In this video, I'm going to show you the biceps training routine which I used as a pro bodybuilder to build championship winning biceps. The gym footage which you'll see was shot at the peak of my bodybuilding career in the early 90s. I hope that you'll enjoy this vintage footage which we'll be sharing. Today as a best-selling fitness author and lean body coach to thousands, I still teach these same exercises and techniques. Whether you're interested in packing on muscle and competing, trying to get stronger so you can perform better in your sport, or trying to get lean and muscular, this routine can help you. There's a lot that can be learned by using the basic exercises and time-proven principles of building muscle. This biceps routine can be used by anybody desiring to build as much muscle in their biceps as possible in the shortest amount of time. The biceps muscles consist of the biceps brachii and the brachialis. This biceps routine involves exercises that develop the entire bicep structure to give you fuller, more muscular arms. Let's take a look at our biceps training now. The concentration curl seems an unlikely exercise to start a biceps routine with, but get all of the old notions out of your head and listen up. By working one arm at a time, you're able to focus more and fire more nerve impulses into the biceps, thus recruiting more muscle fibers faster. Because the concentration curl is such a strict exercise, it forces the biceps to work with little assistance from auxiliary muscle groups. A muscle that is forced to work is a muscle that is forced to adapt. We'll use lots of weight out in this exercise after warming up. If you train biceps right after back as I do, your biceps should require minimal warm up. To begin, place the elbow of your arm firmly against the inside of your corresponding thigh. Keep your arm at 90 degrees to your thigh, curl the weight upward by muscular contraction and an arcing motion, and try to bring the inside head of the dumbbell against your shoulder by turning your wrist. This motion doesn't have to be exaggerated, but thinking about it will go a long way towards making your form correct. Do two to three sets of concentration curls, reaching failure at eight to 10 reps. Ask anyone to show you one biceps exercise they know, and they're likely to show you barbell curls. It's important to keep tension on the biceps throughout the range of motion when performing barbell curls. Start with a grip just wide enough to clear your thighs. Curl the weight upward in an arc by muscular contraction of the biceps. Here's some important pointers. Keep your upper arms at your sides, fighting the tendency to allow them to travel upwards as the weight is curled. If you're keeping your upper arms close to your sides, you'll have no problem keeping the tension on the biceps at the top of the movements. Don't let the bar fall into your shoulders or rest at the top. Minimize cheating, and if you must use body English, keep it to a minimum. Let's do three sets of six to 10 reps to failure. The Preacher Curl is another great isolation exercise that forces a lot of stress onto the biceps. Because the bench restricts the movement of the upper arm, Preacher Curls stress the biceps maximally from the start position through the midway point. Because of this, they're considered a good thickening exercise for the lower portion of the biceps. Keep the pad firmly under your armpits and don't lean over or rock back excessively. The idea here is to keep the tension on your biceps. Keep your arms at shoulders width apart, don't bounce or hyperextend at the bottom of the movement, and perform preacher curls with a smooth pull, no jerking. Let's do two to three sets of six to 10 repetitions. Our final exercise is the hammer curl. The hammer curl is performed in alternating fashion, keeping the face of the dumbbell facing upwards at all times. This exercise is great for the biceps brachii and will add lots of width to your arm. Again, try to keep your upper arms as close to your sides as possible while curling the dumbbell up. Keep tension on your arms at all times and don't let this exercise turn into a swinging match. Control the weight. Let's perform two to three sets of this exercise with enough weight to permit eight to 10 reps on each arm. So there's your Lee Labrada biceps routine. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you'll like me on my Labrada Nutrition Facebook page. Also, visit labrada.com for more free instructional videos and articles.